Sup guys and welcome back to another Minecraft uh, adventure tutorial episode and today I thought I'd just do a quick episode here and so you guys can catch up with what I've done lately uh, so what you can see just immediately here is this little house I built basically it's my shed but we'll get to that later what I've been spending most of my time on though is this dum dum da danger stranger danger well anyways so this is what I've been doing lately. I've been running down into the underground, collecting lava and carrying it all up here in 20 buckets to fill off this tunnel with lava. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Well, underneath here, as you can see, I'm a bit far up in the air, uh, is the tunnel I was talking about last episode, I believe. And uh, I thought it would be cool to try and use lava for some more construction and stuff. And uh, I came up with this idea after talking with my friend about it and he has a similar thing uh, with lava around glass and stuff and uh, well I, I think it turned out pretty well I like it it's pretty cool underneath there's water flowing water the whole uh, the, basically the whole tunnel is lava wall ceilings and water floors I'm probably going to change the pattern on the floor though because I don't really like how uh, well Every second one is stone, every second one is glass, and the stone is actually covering, so basically you have to look almost straight downwards to even notice that there's water. If you just walk like this, the stone basically cuts off your view so you can't see the water, so you have to angle your your little avatar so much to actually see the water. So I'm probably going to change this pattern, but it's not really you know, an emergency, so I'm probably going to keep it for this way until I get bored someday and feel like, yeah, okay, let's do it today. But yeah. Lava ceiling and walls with flowing lavas on the walls as the source blocks are all up here. And I had to use, uh, since lava only flows three uh, spaces on, uh, on uh, flat ground, I had to use two sources. So basically here's one source block and here's one source block. So that uh, added up to quite a lot of runs down into the underground to collect all this lava. I used 20 buckets. I could have made more, I guess. But as... Uh, when I was in on the ground, all these, uh, what are they called? Oh, no. Well, it's basically a giant slime blob thing that spawns sometimes, and apparently they can even spawn in light, and they're attracted to light, so... Uh, yeah, they, they, they've started spawning in the underground, uh, under Rapture, where I collected all this lava. Uh, as that's the closest one that I could remember that I had. Oh, uh, God, there's dirt. Why didn't I fix that? Oh, well. Uh, as you can see, basically this leads out to nowhere special. It's basically just straight through the mountain, and I haven't really, you know, explored much. Well, that's pretty cool. I haven't even noticed that before. Uh, but this little valley here, and there's a cave here. Oh, I've been here. I think I was here in previous episodes. And I popped out here, and then I kept going, and I came out somewhere else. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Maybe I'll have to revisit these caves and see if I missed something or or where it, wherever it leads, anyway. What's that? Oh, red flower, yellow flower, okay. So a lot of waterfall here and some other stuff. But yeah, this is basically my tunnel. I don't know why, I just always wanted to build a tunnel. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the lava really adds a nice effect, I think. And as I have a, a more open pattern with glass on the walls, uh, you can actually see the lava quite clearly when you go past it, but not the water. Ah, that annoys me. I have to fix that pattern, but that's for another time when I get really, really bored. Because I could do something more with my time, I guess. New stuff. But okay, uh, another thing I built basically just as a... I built the shed. So this is the shed with uh, a roof ceiling and I used uh, wood stairs to create the ceiling. And this was basically the solution I came up with. Uh, I wanted to do it more like a cone or something, if you catch my drift, but it didn't really work out. It looked weird and the stairs kept turning in different angles. And after a while I got so annoyed, I came up with this idea and I think it still looks, it looks okay. It's kind of visually confusing because the wood just mesh so well together that you can't really see where it ends and starts or if it goes outwards or inwards like here it just looks like a wall somehow but at the same time not because it's angled weirdly but yeah so that's the roof of the shed what did we even talk about that i have no idea maybe you're interested i don't know 
so basically this was just a way for me to store the things I needed for my tunnel. I had all my all my construction materials there, the glass, etc. And uh, instead of running all the way down there every time, I basically did one run, filled my inventory full of stone, one run and put it in the shed and then went down to ca collect all the glass I had and all the sand that I created glass out of uh, and just store it in the shed instead. It was just easier that way. And I think it adds something, you know, my, my base is starting to look like, I don't know, small village maybe with some weird odd things and with the plateaus and little farmland and this little outer part of the base and towers and yeah it's it's coming along nicely and there's the glass bridge and i my other project that i really want to try and build and i've done so on another world i have is make a water elevator and i'm thinking i sh probably gonna put it here so i can have a quick way up and down this huge mountain and on top of this mountain i want to build something i don't know what yet but i want to build something up there because well it's pretty cool i think i guess i don't know i, I just want to build something way up there on the mountain maybe some form of base of operations or some other type of building or statue maybe or something i was thinking about making like i don't know something that like creates an overhang uh, maybe some form of a balcony, huge balcony stuff, or a giant claw maybe. I'm not really exactly sure what I want to build yet. So that's enough of that. Tunnel over there and the shed. And I have also made uh, this over here <laughs> extremely pointless. I don't know why I built it. Uh, basically I'm hoarding torches. Uh, because apparently they're gonna turn into uh, lanterns. I'm not sure if the placed ones will turn into lanterns or if you have the ones in your inventory will turn into lanterns. I'm not sure. I'm not really bothered. Uh, hopefully lanterns will be slightly easy to build and not very expensive uh, iron wise or whatever it's you're going to use to build lanterns. But yeah, so this is the torch room now. My attempt of hoarding torches. And it looks kind of hypnotic somehow. Very odd thing to do. I don't know where I came up with that idea all of a sudden. Basically this area here I've carved out to farm. Uh, I carved this uh, all the stone out of this area because uh, I needed a lot of stone to build a skull statue. If you remember that one at the beach or out way up in the ocean there. So basically this room was something I carved out a while ago. And now I turned it into my torch room. And you can also access it from inside my base. You can see here. So probably I'm going to start other projects here and maybe dig this way, make rooms or whatever. I'm not sure what yet, but there it's basically just an expansion to my base. It's the, this stairway down here. You go past the, uh, my papyrus farm and, and the pool room and stuff. It's all grown again. I've been farming it quite regularly, I think, but it keeps growing really fast. Yeah, and the pool in here and the sauna. So here's the main area, basically my storage area and all my furnaces i built another six of them to burn all the stone and glass i needed for the the tunnel the magazine raider uh, so yeah i had to make because i had a lot of stone to make into smooth stone to build the tunnel i used most of the stone uh, which were there already basically uh, but there was a lot of dirt and gravel and stuff which I had to replace with smooth stone so I needed a lot of stone and glass for this tunnel but I think it's pretty cool it's kind of large I think maybe I should make some form of a plateau up here and then maybe build some form of a castle uh, library uh, something I don't know also I've been thinking about instead of walking this distance I should build uh, uh, tracks, minecart tracks, and maybe use minecart boosters. Someone, I think someone posted a comment on one of my episodes or in my channel on YouTube, I'm not sure, uh, about minecart boosters and stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess I could use that here because there's no uh, elevation here, so I'd have to use minecart boosters for that. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do that. Maybe I could build some form of a small house here to keep the booster track and then boost it all the way through the tunnel to the end of it 
But yeah, that's basically what I've been doing lately. I haven't played an awful lot. I've had other things to do, but uh, I managed to get a few projects done at least. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. It's just a short update this uh, Sunday for me. And hopefully the coming week I'll have more creations or an adventure on the go. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. See what I feel like doing and how much time I have. But uh, thanks for tuning in this time. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>